Hello again, this is Priscilla Batsell in Springdale, Florida at Expressionist Fluid Art Studio. Zooming in on my Oxo Omelette Turning Flip and Fold Spatula with the best paint spreading tool I know of. And a piece of craftastic plastic, which I will attempt to remind myself to leave you the link to my Amazon link in the description. But uh, I watched somebody use a huge piece of pl plastic earlier and they, they developed it with uh, silicone oil, which I'm not going to do. I'm just going to use my Australian Floetrol cell activator activators. But in the meantime, I'm going to try and spread some of my Amsterdam black on it. And I have it resting on a 14 by 14 inch canvas that's still in its wrapper for lack of having gotten a piece of plywood or it might be nice if I had a piece of cardboard at least. But this is how I'm going to start and uh, it's the first time I really tried it and well, it's, I've tried things on plastic with smaller pieces and nothing, nothing so permanent as this is looking like. I don't know how this black is going to cover or if I didn't use enough or how I'm going to handle this. But I figure if I don't have a base layer, then I'll have a lot of sheer stuff left. Because I know I'm going to try and tip some, but I'm mostly going to swipe to see the reaction. And there might be something important in the background necessary, like uh, maybe a piece of clean silicone mat. This OXO Omelette Turning Flip and Fold Spatula is available on my Amazon link and it is doing a magnificent job of adding paint. I think. It might take a little practice getting used to it. I've only made thousands of paintings, so... But this is meant to be somewhat quick. And I think I'm going to start from this lower corner here. And I don't want to have a tremendous amount of paint, but like I said, this is the first time. I'm going to use some, I'm a Color Art affiliate, so there's a 20% off Color Art coupon code below the video. This is Mother of Pearl. This is a prism pour. This is Saffron, another prism pour. I use the base so that I would have a way to tip things. I think that's going to work. This is a vivid, intense fluorescent red violet with some uh, golden diamonds in it. Which I don't actually want to take the top right off, or do I? It's plugged. I'll show you how easy it is to get those plugs out. I hope. I hope I'm right. I've got other colors. No, I got it. I thought, every once in a while I think, I should just use three colors, so let's see if I can do it this time. What other color would I like? Um, I'm going to use white cell activator, so I'm going to use some midnight shadow. Ooh, my spatula is still out. I'll put that in the bucket and grab a long spatula and... To heck with it. I'm having another color. I can't help it. Um, it's going to be pink carnation. No, nope, pink diamond. And as long as I'm at it, I might as well go for broke and put some Indian spice in there. white cell activator, although I kind of want white and black. I'm going to be going from this side, so it's going to be on the right. I don't even know if I have enough Amsterdam base.
scrape off my spatula. Try and tip it. That's interesting. I got cells, but I got a lot less than I was expecting. So I am going to use some more paint and hope that the person in the other room who doesn't realize I'm recording, I should have told him he's got a friend stop by. I'm going to use some Orange Crush on this. And if I can find, there's the jasmine way across the room. And it's almost plugged too, so I might not get any out of there. Or I could take the top off. And use it like that. I'm going to use some black. And some gold. That's kind of cool. I kind of like this white stuff down here. But it does call me, it just says, use me, use me. I don't think I can leave this as heavy as it is. So I'm going to have to try and tip it. I do love that. That worked out great. Throw my little tool in the bucket. If I don't remember to include the acetate tool creation tutorial video, just let me know. And I will do the best I can. Sounds like somebody boiled one of my pans dry in the kitchen. I wonder if I can add some more paint. Do I even want to? Maybe some Amsterdam white. Which it looks to me like I can add some more Floetrol to any time to thin it down. The, my first ever tilted pour on plastic. That's kind of working. I was kind of hoping to get to that corner, but I don't think, whoops. I don't think I can. I don't know about the touching up either. And you definitely have to frame these. I'm pretty sure cardboard is going to work better, but I'm pretty sure a piece of silicone on cardboard is going to work better than that. I see there's something in there that needs to go out. I thought I did. Did I hallucinate? So I'm going to have to come back and show you what happened when it dries. I do use, I'm not used to this yet, I do use GAC 800 by Golden in all of my paint mixtures so that things don't crack, but I don't know how that is going to work on plastic. I've got a thumb hold on this. Well, I've got a thumb nail hold on it. Those gorgeous colors are moving around quite nicely. I don't really want them to swallow all the gold. I think I'm just going to be happy with what I've got. And I can I know I can shimmer it at you. I don't know how it's going to dry. I'm pretty sure I know I put GAC 800 by Golden in the black cell activator, but I'm not sure if I put it in the white. And that's pretty slick. I like that. If it's still wet enough, I could probably mm, I was going to say I can touch up the black, but I'm not sure it's a good idea. That's pretty sharp. I really like that. But um, I could come back tomorrow and I could put new swipes in those places. I could do that now. <laughs> Maybe depending on how much time I've got left. 
Maybe I'll try and do that now. So I need this open and a little bit in each of these places for lack of any other protocol. This one doesn't need it as much as the others. And if I can still use, huh, I'm going to still try and use a little bit of my jasmine. I just dipped my bottle into the painting. That was not a good idea. Some orange crush. It's an experiment. Some Indian spice. I know I have another tool handy, so I'll use another tool. And I'm going to stick with the white cell activator, or am I? Yeah, white. Maybe some gold, too. I can get the stuck on top off. I'd like to be able to tip further, but lacking experience, I really don't know what's possible. I'm just going to go right over the edge. Scrape it off on the next spot. I think I'm going to use black up there. There'll be a little bit of white left anyway. This didn't come out at all. We'll fix that right up right now. That kind of works. I'd like to see it on something that's not. Let's see if we can move it out. It's pretty heavy. I don't know if I'll get away with this or not, but. I want to clean that paint off so I can allow it to dry in here. And at least I covered my corners that I was worried about. And I wouldn't have done anything like that if I hadn't had this process. And I really like it. See if I can get it back in shape. That's pretty nice. <laughs> All right, let's try and shimmer it at you. I need to go turn the light out. I'm loving the lacing. I just don't know how it's going to dry. I'll come back. I'll come back and show you tomorrow. I might leave it to dry right where it's at. Look at that shimmer. That's beautiful. Look at those cells in the corner. Those are pretty nice, too. Yeah, I like that. I wonder what you could charge for one of these things. Let me know if you're interested. <laughs> I'll get back to you anon. Uh, I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Don't forget to uh, check out my email address. It's EASPB and the word gallery spelled out at gmail.com if you want to inquire about purchasing an artwork or taking a lesson with me in the house in Spring Hill, Florida. Uh, check under the video in the description for my Amazon link on the link tree where you can find my couple of websites and the Gallery Society 6. Um, what else? Everything else. Everything else is there. So if uh, I can help you, my community board will show you tomorrow's video. Questions are welcome and encouraged. I have 31 playlists and uh, 31 have 100 each on them and, and uh, I also have them organized by topic and genre. So. If you guys are interested in a topic or a genre or a particular recent playlist, let me know. I've got the links all saved and I'm happy to help. 
I love you guys. Uh, my paint pouring recipe will be below show more and I will try and remember the link for this and whatever I've forgotten <laughs> will be in the end the, at the end of the next segment which should show this dry and it might take a day or two I don't know I have no idea I'm completely clueless this is my first time I'm a newbie <laughs> again so check out my Pinterest Instagram Twitter links everything like I said everything's on the link tree I love you guys you inspire the heck out of me bye for now Priscilla out if this works I'll do a 16 by 20 I hope I'm not promising something I can't deliver on but I'll try bye for now I love you guys take care of each other take care of yourselves See you anon. Okay, so this is the next day. This is not even 24 hours later. And uh, for, for my first try, I'm really happy with it. It's on a 16 by 20 inch canvas. There's a little bit of moisture here left in one spot. I did get a tiny amount of crazing, which I'm kind of surmising that I can alleviate by spreading my paint thinner or tipping it out more. I have cut a piece of cardboard for my next attempt that's exactly the same size and I'm going to try that that seems like it would work and I forgot to tell you guys there's a 20% off color art coupon code I'm a color art affiliate these are color art colors and prism pores and primary elements and vivid intense and uh, there's also a 10% off pixel paint designs coupon code for uh, Prism pour, excuse me, <laughs> no, <laughs> for Australian Floatrol, Boom Gel, and Pevio paints, and more. And I wanted to also show you, about an hour ago or less, I primed another sheet of plastic, and it's pretty good. It could, it might be used, as, it might need a second coat, and uh, I'm pretty good with a spatula, so I'm not saying that it wouldn't be it would be super easy but um, I put a super thin layer on there and I could put another one on there to use and uh, so that's that's possibly going to happen again soon I might this is going to be the reverse process I'm going to use some black silica activator and a white base I'll see you guys in on take care of each other take care of yourselves don't forget the thumbs up if you wouldn't mind I'd really appreciate you guys sharing my videos I really really appreciate that and your kind words and your comments keep my morale boosted so I hope you come again and I think that is my favorite way up top. But um, I can try and shimmer this at you to see if there's any shimmer left in the dry piece. And look at that. There is. Oh, that's so nice. And it's pretty dry. Um, I might be able to fix that, but I don't think I, I feel compelled to do so because I think it's pretty nice as it is. Let's zoom down in there. Let's zoom way down in there. flash the light a little bit better. All right. Hopefully that will show you guys that it's it's worth trying and uh, I'll keep I'll keep trying to work with it. Um, I do things in series so that I learn <laughs> all at once and uh, helps me better retain my understanding of things. I want you guys to take care of each other, take care of yourselves. If I said it twice, forgive me. I love you much. You inspire me always. Bye for now. Priscilla out.